G'day, how's it going? My name's Ruby, and let's have a look at today's news. First up, you might have heard that millions of fish have been dying thanks to an outbreak of blue-green algae in Australia's biggest river system, the Murray-Darling. Now people are worried that even more fish could die before the end of summer. After months of fish deaths, this might be one of the few positives. Transporting Murray cod to fish hatcheries hundreds of k's away to give them a better shot at surviving. Not something that we normally do to try and rescue fish, but this was the opportunity and we thought that we really had to do something uh, and try and do the best by those fish. But overall, it's a pretty sad situation. Low water levels and algal blooms have starved the Darling River of oxygen and millions of fish have died. Locals, many who rely on it for farming, are really worried about the water running out and think it could get worse. The government says drought's to blame, but some aren't happy with how the river system's been managed. For now, everyone's hoping for more rain and more water. US President Donald Trump says he's going to declare a state of emergency in America, but it's not as scary as it sounds. By doing it, it means he can get the funding that he wants to build that famous wall he keeps talking about along the US-Mexico border. We're going to build a wall. We're going to build the wall. Build that wall. Build the wall. Build a beautiful, tall, big, strong border wall. US Congress isn't totally on board with this whole wall idea, and that's delayed the president's plans. But by declaring a state of emergency, Trump's hoping he can bypass Congress and do it anyway. Now to a story about an amazing dinosaur discovery. This time, not about their bones, but their footprints, and a last minute scramble to save them from some extreme weather up in Queensland. Finding a bunch of dinosaur footprints is a dream discovery for these guys. We were smiling, we were hugging, we were high-fiving, we just had a blast, it was the best day. Just outside of Winton, these paleontologists have been chipping away at a very delicate job. Uncovering these dinosaur footprints that are about 95 million years old. There are teeny tiny ones made by chicken-sized dinos and massive meter-long prints left behind by plant-eating sauropods. Excavation started last year when this area was dry and luckily the prints were moved out of the ground before the region was hit with some crazy flooding. The prints are set to be reconstructed to feature at a new dinosaur exhibition in Winton next year. And to wrap up the week, I have a present for you. Feel free to give it to someone else if you want, because this next segment is all about gifting and re-gifting. First up, Aussie NBA star Ben Simmons is kind of a big deal in the world of basketball. Any b-ball fan would love to get their hands on a pair of his shoes. So you can imagine how stoked this fan was when this happened. Now this story could end here, but right at this moment, Ben changed his mind. Ouch. He explained later on Twitter that he heard a young Aussie fan call out and gave it to them instead. Simmons reckons it's fair because he still had his hands on the shoe when he changed his mind. So the handover wasn't official yet. Next up, a US pizza company has been forced to deny some bizarre claims that it's been serving its customers recycled pizza slices. This whole thing was stirred up by famous YouTuber Shane Dawson in a video for his 20 million subscribers. And his main slice of evidence? The slices don't always line up to form a perfect circle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shane, that's crazy. <laughs> That piece is longer than that piece, which is shorter than that piece. These pieces in the back are shorter than those pieces. <gasps> and none of the pepperonis oh, man. line up. Chuck E. Cheese says the claims are completely false. And finally, footballer Tate Mackerel got the gift she'd always dreamed of, a chance to make her AFLW debut. This is how she found out. This weekend, we take on the Blues at Blacktown. There's plenty to see and do, but the best part is... Oh, congratulations. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations, <laughs> Thanks, Mum. That's the show for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
Also, hit the bell button so that you get notifications every time a new episode drops.